Welcome back. Guys, the problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dead. <laughs> just right into it, eh? So I like that you know, I just need a way to show to everyone something that speaks to their creative minds. Mmm, <laughs> you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Not now, frog. <laughs> it's not the problem, though. Hey, what do you mean? Even if you come up with the most fun thing ever, you're looking at the first if it's a literature event. Um, sure. Just womp womp. Make food. <laughs> So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, you can do the thing to speak their creative minds. What's this? Sarah's taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Huh, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food would do the trick? Yes. What kind of food? Uh, well, I guess we could... Cupcakes. Yeah! Good <laughs> thinking. That's like you would love to do that. Ah, you're right. That's like you the best cupcakes. Works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcake speak to my creative tummy. That's oh, is ridiculous. that the one next to your regular stomach and is your excuse for why you're fat? <laughs> <laughs> Cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. <laughs> you fat fuck. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. Good God. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self, but therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all. Oh. This guy right here. Sayori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. That's me. So that's why I end up letting her on, get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world. Do you ever wonder that, Dave? Yeah. Holy fuck! Wah! I open my eyes to find Sayori's face filling my vision. <laughs> I nearly fall Virtual Outcomes playing Dave Nick's dick pics viewer. <laughs> 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 Excellent. Hee hee hee, sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Should. Does our school have a napping club? <laughs> I would join the napping club. <laughs> you asshole. It's called the Brenda Wallace room at the right <laughs> People actually sleep in there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, I felt. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So I have this conversation with these people. A few fucking. Well, the same people I was talking about that take two and uh, don't worry about it. Yeah. Um, so apparently, uh, one of the psychology profs went into that place with. Uh, a black light and it looks like a fucking Pollock painting in there. Why? Because <laughs> people have sex and like masturbate in there apparently. That's fucking disgusting. I know. Jesus I'd Christ. I never do shit like that at a school. Especially in a, in a breeding room that's part of the library. Like a fucking public room? Jesus. Yeah. And it's, 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 Maybe it's an office. a gorgeous room too. I mean it's got this like it's half of its windows and it, like it's you know but it's not too bright and you know it Big leather couches and and nice, you know. There's chairs by the window, so you can work there. It's like it's just the best place to actually get shit done. And also to bang, apparently. Yeah, and to master. But apparently, um, there's like all these rooms in the residences too, like common rooms and stuff like that, all over the place. Like all, even I think. I think Goddamn some, I, kids! I think people bang the calf and like they bang in the pub. It's like, oh my god, why would you do that? How would you get away with being the calf? Uh, I think they did it at night. They just broke in and fucked. Uh, you know what? I swear to God, it's the administration. <laughs> They're the only ones with the keys. Alright, let's actually get back to this shit. Where are we look here? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh? Not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's a secret. I knew it. Come on, Dave. Wait, napping Just club is a subdivision of the fapping club. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Maybe that is. Maybe there's a fapping club. <laughs> there's jizz all over the school. Oh, yeah, just jizz it up. I can't even do that. Look, Sarah, it's written all over you. Like the, oh. jizz, like the jizz. Like the jizz. <laughs> Sarah glances around herself. Just like black lighter just says, I'm a slut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. I uh, know. I run my fingers down the side of Sierra's hair trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is really hard to get right. She looks the exact fucking same, too. Honestly, her hair doesn't look bad. It yeah. just looks like she might have even styled it with something. Yeah. I won't fall for that. There's more than even just your hair. Ugh. What? I almost sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's a toothpaste stain in your collar right here. Try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But no one ever noticed that. Of course they would. 
No one's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I don't really care about that. Hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Jesus! <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> Sorry, but you'll thank me later. <laughs> Start to button her blazer from the butt. Is it like an older brother or something? Like, <laughs> they're, they're, well, they're like childhood friends, right? So it kind of lays like that. I guess. Yeah. Uh, you know, but I don't know. I find like now, if, if a guy tried doing that, he just get hit with a restraining order. <laughs> Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Oh, uh, we gotta do it. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. She looks like what kind is? of creeped out. Well, who cares if a friend who does these kind of things? Hey. Eh? Don't say that. You make me weird. You've had this interaction before. Were you were you the Dave Nix or were you the Sayori? Nobody. It's okay though. I'm happy we're like this, aren't you? Uh, are you happy we're like this, Dave? I, the way that you and I are. No, I. I get the way that you and I are. Yes, not. Your shirt's very fuzzy. What the fuck? No, I know. It, it, Ooh. Get the fuck out. <laughs> out. Out. Get out of it. Hey, be careful. But might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close a button near her chest. Duh. Does this even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. Oh, have her chest gotten bigger? <sighs> if you ever buttoned it, you would notice sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. Don't say that out loud. Anyway. Jesus Christ, woman. Looks much better now, so. Ah. Why do you feel You see Flowery's blazer buttoned up. But it's so stuffy. Ooh, it's not worth it at all. Yeah, that, that sounds like me. <laughs> Fuck it. Ah. So much better. Sarah puts her arms out and twirls around. It's so kinky. What? If I keep it unbuttoned, I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because. I had a boyfriend, he wouldn't, let me, he wouldn't let you do things like this. You take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. That's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. This is Japanese as fuck. How is this not made by a Japanese person? It wasn't? No, apparently it wasn't. Jesus. Jesus. It's like a Westerner making it the Japanese style. Anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Why well, you focus on going to bed earlier? Fine, fine. <laughs> it's a deal. It's a deal. I'm yawning crazily. Guess we're taking better chances than we are taking care of ourselves. Make a good couple. Like you and I, Dave. Make a good couple. This is way too meta for me. Doesn't, doesn't it feel good to have a best friend like your old pal Sayori Nix? <laughs> Sayori Nix. Get my out! My name's Sayori Nix. Get Dave. out! Hi, Dave! Well, I want to button my shirt up for me! <laughs> no, you don't wear button-up shirts ever. I, I have a few. I just don't wear them. It's because you're disgraced to me. Am of... I? I was joking, apparently. And it's possible to tell with you sometimes. Is it? Okay, everyone. Hey, Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Oh, dude, poem sharing time! Hey, Dave's getting sweaty and uncomfortable. Yeah, that's that's just Dave normal. Just <laughs> in my pants. Dave, next. I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. Uh, I failed to sell it enthusiastically. Sarah already still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, do you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. Our relaxation ends. I oh can't yeah, this is bullshit. I agreed something so embarrassing. We, 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 we were like a final terrible was... fucking poem. <laughs> oh, I, I know. It, well, because it's all over the fucking place. Yeah, yeah. I can't really find much information since I've never really done this before. Like, well, here's the thing. Initially, I was using, you know, kind of matching themes or, or you know, themes that made sense. Yeah. Actually, it was all just bullshit in but, the end. Well, it was like, you can make it prose poetry, right? So it's for, like free bird, so yeah. I guess that you could. It's like free bird. Yeah. The hardest, known for being the hardest song guitar hero. <laughs> <laughs> the it's, only thing it's known for. It's one of the hardest songs, period. Yeah. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Time to share the shitty poems. A lot of good composition. I like, can see for scene handwriting. Oh, it's, it's those two. They're going for it, too. Myself. Who should I show my poem to first? Monica. I start, I start with, Monica. with Monica. So she seemed eager to read my Wait, poem. Why Monica? I wanted it. Cause... I want my poem in the stall of the bathroom when I go read it. 
Here I said broken hearted, tried to shit, but only farted. Fuck Dave it. Next 2017. Get out of here. Copyright 2017. Copyright. Yeah, every time I hear about one of those things, I just sue the fuck out of them. Sue the school. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Dave Next. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better? I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm settled in. That sounds anyway, like a diff. Yep. Want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ha 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 ha! Don't worry, Dave Nix. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? That's that sort of barrier that we're all learning to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? <laughs> Don't be surprised we had those sort of things in common. Why isn't Fairy here to tell us all these girls are not worthy of Dave Next? He's probably mad because I wasn't here all week. Yeah, probably. He's probably just jack. He's like just expunged his soul into the fat pillow that he has with my face on it. <laughs> actually, or that or he's, you know, doing voodoo magic. Oh. oh, well, we may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm. Well, that may be the case. What's what song? What? This song? I don't know. Nick's withdrawal. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Maybe there's also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. When she talks about you, it sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. Ah, uh, these girls are not worth Dave next. There we go. <laughs> there's new guess. Uh, thank you. He gave us a game today. What okay. game? New guess. Um, Throne of... Gondor? Shit, I forgot. I'm sorry. Throne of Sweden? Where you you destroy the the, can you, the, can you, the mongrel hordes? Can you press the goddamn dude, click, dude. That's what's gonna be. There's gonna be like this this, this whole uprising, like an anti uprising against the 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 the, the brown menace. <laughs> Fucking play the goddamn game. <laughs> the the rape patrol. Good, good God. It's totally unexpected. Well, he's still down. You've been experimenting a little bit either. I'm sure, I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. Throne of Lies, okay. That's okay. I love to see you trying yes. things. That's an investment to find this kind of stuff suits you. Everyone else might get a little biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you most. But to don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. <sighs> it's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, Monica. Uh, Shut fuck. the fuck up. Do you, you still <laughs> the, want to date this girl? The brown. Yeah, I don't know anymore. She. Maybe she, maybe she's the Avery just never shuts up. <laughs> <laughs> One of Monica's standing poses is like she snapped her spine. Yeah, kind of. She's like she's like leaned over. People ah, from non-skiing nations. Yeah, it's gonna be one of those things where it's gonna be like the like guerrilla warfare, and it's just like it's like it's all Nordic people on skis shooting at immigrants. <laughs> God. Hole in wall by Monica Nix. Rip. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes? A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. Up here inside for a clue. Monica's best girl. No, apparently. I can't see. I reel blind like the film left out in the sun. It was too late. My retinas already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. Just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. He on the other side was looking in. Holy fuck, it's dark. There's another page though. What? Really? Oh, maybe not. No, it's not. Huh. We're trained from birth, exactly. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Mm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Uh -huh, it's okay. That kind of style's gotten pretty popular nowadays. There's a lot of people poems have been. Putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines when performed aloud can be really powerful. Yeah, that was a powerful performance you just gave, Dave. It's fucking, it moved me to shit myself in, into the couch. Dev, you already do that. Oh, I'm what just gonna do it. Uh, 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 well, I'm not really sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say I had kind of some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influenced by my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. <laughs> Maybe after everyone's better friends with play each other. Anyway, uh, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Since you write a poem or story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. 
you try so hard to make it perfect, you'll never make oh any progress. Oh my god, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Click, click, <laughs> click, <laughs> click, <laughs> click, <laughs> click, <laughs> click. This fucking... Thank you. Next person. Who's left? <sighs> Yuri. Yeah, yeah, best girl. Hmm. Yuri, Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes. More than enough time for her to finish reading. Um... Oh! Sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um... It's fine. Don't force yourself. I'll break a blood vessel. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through. <laughs> uh, so it's that bad. No. Did I just raise my voice? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face into her hands. Into her boobs. Couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Um... So their specific writing habits are usually typical of new writers. I haven't been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. There's a bloke named Yaoi as well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> in other words, they tend to pick up a writing style that's separate from the topic matter and they form and they form fit the two together. Dude, I'm pretty sure she's a trap. She's a trap? Yeah. She had a penis? Well, Yuri is, a, is all, it also going to be a guy's name. Mm, yeah, sure. It only in Russian, though. Yeah, so. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. No, I, I know I know Yuri's an actual male. Yeah, let's keep going, though. Come on, pick the button. Once Yuri finds her change of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Dragon Fat, that, that's how it is in English. A single word can mean up to three things, depending on how the context is written. That's, that's English, too, dude. Yeah. There, there, there. Yeah. Yeah, they're homies. Buffalo, buffalo, buffalo. Like, it's all different. Yeah. Wait, three buffaloes? Yeah, there's, there's like five different buffaloes, dude. Anyway. There's buffalo the animal. There's buffalo the city. Yeah. There's, there's buffalo wings, but, I mean, they were... Those are just made... Like, it's kind of the buffalo of the city. What, what else? I, no, the, w one of the most confusing yet fully complete sentences is the, is the word buffalo seven times. Because it works as a noun, verb, and adjective. It all had different meanings. Just have to think of it. By the way, don't you want to add your Twitch account to your Discord one? AK can't interview each other so you can win shots streaming. If someone misses the announcement, they can go see the purple status, posting the picture every time you go live. I should do that, actually. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, I didn't know either. I, I'll do that. I'll do that after the stream today, but... but you you tell them in Twitch in Discord right now. I'm leaving it to you, trash lord. Um, well, for people like that, sorry. Wait, who's she talking about? Not too. Oh, she like she's like shitting on her behind her back. Yes. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I live to share my thought process behind it. Here he smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghosts Under the Light by Yuri Dix. <laughs> well, wait. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Wait. Calm, calm. breathing air of the present but leaving, living in the past. The light flick flickers. I flicker back. What the fuck is up with all these girls? Um, they're all just like brutally fucked. But yeah, they're just really emo. <laughs> okay, give it a click, I guess. But Dev, one. But you need you need to put more inflection in it, Dev. No. But maybe the heartbeat is. Huh? Maybe that's like an allusion to the Telltale Heart. I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What her handwriting's really nice. <laughs> Nothing that at all. <laughs> It took you such a long time to read. Ah, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it, I'll be honest. Since it's our first time showing, I want to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Hoo <laughs> hoo. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Dave Nix. Really? I must have totally missed the point. I suppose you did only glance over it, after all. Remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. Well, so far I'm gleaning that Monica has a thing for 
Dave Nix. I'm gleaming that, that, feels... I'm, I'm that Monica like looked through a fucking a peephole and saw a dead. I don't know, it was a fucking glory hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that's Monica in the glory hole. And Yuri's like the ghost. Monica and the Yuri, glory hole. Yuri the ghost in the shell because she's actually a trap. Okay, we're up three minutes. Let's finish up this girl's side quest and then we'll get to the other two next episode. Perhaps the subject of the poem was only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Dev, Ooh. stop doing voices, please. Please, God, stop. Ne nobody is watching. What do you mean? A lot more solemn putting it that way. I never thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Makes me happy you think that. Won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Can't let you do that, Dave. Maybe you're I right. I can't let you do I that. I'll have to keep trying. Smithers, you are very good at turning me on. You're quite good at turning me on. <laughs> okay, next episode, I gotta actually take a Probably huge shit now, too. So next episode, we're gonna give our poem to Sayori and Natsuki, and hopefully something will happen. Oh, shit. <laughs>